Combat Theory presents. Again, I'm still a coach at heart, so I look at everything as a competition. Now, <laughs> I'm very competitive, so I look at, one, first and foremost, my team. My team needs to be the number one team. That's how I always look at it. Sure. If, if you're a coach and you're not thinking that way, you know, something's wrong. You, my maybe team you have a be, healthy, well-adjusted yeah. mental state. <laughs> <laughs> my team's number one. Okay, if... It, my team's number one or they're not i at least want my region to be number one yeah and now okay my region's number one or it's not well at least my state is number one and that's how i look at it so i really want florida to succeed and i look at something i actually wrote it in my second notebook uh this is just something i looked at a couple weeks ago um the wbc rankings sure okay this is their professional rankings and it went by Every division, they just put it out. If you go to their Instagram, scroll back. This a is like bit. their pound for pound. Yeah, like their top ten or top fifteen rankings for their division. Sure. So I went through and I I kept track of each state that's being represented, and I kind of made it a goal in my head to through our efforts and obviously there's so many other promotions and and uh, coaches and people in the area that are constantly looking to grow the sport, grow their athletes. But I think our contribution is going to be one of those things that can accelerate it. So I look at the WBC rankings, and I'm just going to go down uh, number one to number five. These are by state and by how many fighters. So number one is California with 18 fighters. New York is number two with eight. Texas, number three with six fighters. Massachusetts <laughs> is number four with five fighters. Oh. And then at number five, the three-way tie for three fighters is Arizona, Colorado, in Florida. Ugh. So I look at that and I say, okay, we're number five in the country. But if you add those other two that are tied with us, I'm going to look at it as we're like number eight. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because those two states have less people than us. Per capita. Per capita. Per capita. We're, we're getting our butts kicked. Now, California with 18, they have the highest population. Okay. 39 million people in California. Okay. They have 18 fighters. So for every 2 million people, there's one fighter that's ranked. Okay. If we did that for Florida, 22 million people. For every 2 million people, how many should we have ranked? <laughs> you think I can math? <laughs> it's about 7. 7. It's All around right. 7. It's like 7.15 right. okay. or something. So we should have at least the number 3 spot. All right. All right. We should knock Texas off. So you're trying, to, you're trying to – just so the official record is you're trying to knock Texas off is what you're saying right I'm now. I'm taking Texas yeah, off. Okay, well, well Texas, <laughs> be aware. You're, you're on the path. Now, recently, <laughs> in the last year or so, the IKF PNT has gone to Texas. Yeah, I saw so that. So they're kind of correlated. Uh, so okay. that is, in my mind, Texas is our number one enemy. Now, California is <laughs> at the top. California is number one, and they've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> okay. And again, like we were saying before – what is it? Causation does not equal correlation, or uh, cor correlation is not causation. And I even asked for the, uh, but that's that's what. So California has been doing point Muay Thai for about twenty five, twenty six years, something around there, and they have the most fighters. Of course, they have the most populated state, but they have it at such a higher rate. And I I don't necessarily again want to say that's because of point Muay Thai. I feel but yeah. I think there's a without question a higher rate of competition over there, a higher focus on Muay Thai in that state. And, uh, again, the fact that Florida's has three speaks to our talent. I think we have some of the best uh, coaches and some of the best fighters in all combat sports, including Muay Thai. I just think they haven't had the development programs that are going to really accelerate and, and push their fighters. Muay Thai. Yeah. That's fair. Watch this entire episode for free on YouTube or wherever podcasts can be found.